At Huebner Tire in Petersburg, Illinois, you'll find a wide variety of tires for your automotive as well as recreational vehicle needs. Plus, services and accessories all at an affordable cost with great hometown service. So come on down to Huebner Tire, your tire people. Devil, and look who's back in town, the longest reigning franchise champion in PGP history. Holy cat, Ruff Crossing's back at the perfect ground. America's favorite son makes his return after about a year's absence. He took a hiatus after he lost that proven ground pro franchise title. Indeed he did, but he is back now, and he is back to face our champ. Blake Edward Bellicus, and I tell you what, the last time Ruff Crossing placed, faced Blake Edward Bellicus, it was a completely different situation. Different because Blake Edward Bellicus was Blake Steele, and different because it was for a cutting edge title. That's right. That is the division that these two men really started to revolutionize. They made it a sought after title. And now they're two completely different men. Both are highly decorated. Both have main evented almost everywhere they've ever worked. These are two prime time athletes. Absolutely. There he is, the bad boy, Blake Edward Bellicus. Accompanied by his current pack of carnivores, Nelson Six. What's going on? You might as well call them the Carnivore Club. Because that is four very dangerous men. Don't, don't get it twisted, folks. You don't see the chainsaw out here tonight. You see he's at home healing up from an injury or making an appearance or doing whatever these guys do. Man, this is a dangerous situation for Rough Cross to be in. Just because the chainsaw's not here, don't, don't let... Don't turn your back on the other two. Those are no. two very dangerous men. Because they lost earlier the night, don't turn your back on them. Red Wing's never been pinned here. It took two very capable men to take him out of that match. Absolutely. And the only thing Chainsaw missing right now, that it just keeps it from being three on one, from four on one is the only real difference. Blake Edward Bellick is our current champion, has got the cards certainly in his favor right now. But Ruff Crossing, as you can see, he's not taking a backward step. And why should he? He's one formidable son of a bitch in that ring himself. Ruff Crossing takes a back step to no man. He's one of the toughest men we've ever encountered in the Proving Ground. He got up from the most vicious table shot I may have ever seen in my whole life. Through the nastiest clothesline I may have ever seen in my life to win that franchise title. This is a tough, tough son of a bitch, Brady Lawrence. You are absolutely right. And he is 
back. He is ready. He's looking for a fight. And he has found a fight. And the Bad Wolf and the Carnivores that back him up. My God, what a match we got waiting for us tonight. The Havana crowd is getting a little quick. They're getting a little tired. We're getting late in the evening. It's main event time. It's, it's damn near 10 o'clock. They are about to get amped up because this is a serious main event. This is what our franchise title is all about. This man has waited a year for a rematch, not knowing who the champion at the time will be. He's here. He wants that belt back. Will he become the first two-time, two-time franchise champion? Well, Blake Edward Bellicus knows the length of the reign of Rough Crossing. He knows the resume of guys Rough Crossing defeated. But nonetheless, Blake Edward Bellicus still wants to consider himself the greatest franchise champion ever. And trust me, if Rough Crossing was to take that title for the second time, that would absolutely scuttle Blake Edward Bellicus claim, so he will do anything, and I mean anything, to prevent Rough Crossing from getting that belt tonight. It's apropos he handed his title off to one Nelson Six, Mr. Nice, whatever he wants to call himself these days, um, because it seems like he's been the protector of that belt. Every time Blake's been in a jam, that man has helped him out. That is something Rough Crossing's got to watch out for on the outside. No doubt the cherry picking of Mr. Nice when he was injured by his own man, Jake Durden, for Blake's, Blake at that time, Blake Bellicus to get in the head of Nelson at that time, Mr. Nice, and christen him the new Nelson Six, bring him into the fold of the Carnivore Club and use his skills to recruit the death machines. What a coup by the the man, Blake Edward Bellicus, and you can see the dividends it's paid. He's the man in the franchise now, and he's controlling the action in that ring. Don't let the man's physical tools fool you. He may be one of the smartest wrestlers in the Proving Ground. Nelson Six has found himself around that franchise title, around the champ, the whole time he's been here, and there's... There's got to be a reason for it because he's that intelligent. I'm not knocking his skills. I'm not saying he's not dangerous in the ring, but that mind may be more dangerous than his body could ever be. Oh, my God. Look at the power of Rough Crossing delivering a huge elbow. Hello, Blake Bellicus. Meet Rough Crossing. Out of nowhere, what power. And that's something we haven't seen for a while. Rough Crossing in the ring. Sometimes you forget just how big and powerful Rough Crossing is until he makes his way back. This guy has the tools, the size, the determination to make it out of the world. You and I have discussed that this man is perfect for Japan as Blake takes the advantage. But he better watch out. Like you said, he's a powerful man. He's very capable of it. Both these men just top performers on the indie circuit. Both these men have held a ton of titles. Most importantly, the PGP franchise titles, what we're concerned about tonight. One hell of a fight, one hell of a main event, one hell of a return, and one hell of a screw up by Blake Edward Bellicus right there. He was looking for the clothesline or hit the ropes and rough crossing just pulled it. Oh, he's, he's riding the mug up Rocco. He's oh. riding the mug up Rocco. He's embarrassing the champ. Oh, that's he's dangerous. Him. That is the last thing I would want to do to Blake Bellicus right now. This man is a complete he's psychopath. He's title. Is he going to take it and run? Oh, no, he's telling rough crossing he's the champ. He has told everyone that he's going to prove that their talk is just talk. He's the greatest franchise champion. Oh, and he stumbles right into an elevator on the shoulders in an old school airplane spin. Holy cow! Neither man's gonna be able to walk a straight line after that one. I've seen how many PBRs the old Rough Crossing can drink, and I bet that didn't that spin didn't make him as dizzy as Blake. He can barely get to his feet. A rough crossing distractor, but the equilibrium being a skill of Blake pays dividends to look at what pressed off a huge drop kick. There's that athleticism out of nowhere when you think it's just all fun and games and, and, and last with rough crossing. He comes out of nowhere with that athleticism. 
He hasn't even removed his vest yet. And look at him peeling by the hair right out of the corner. It's the big elbow. Dropping that full body weight right across to Champ Bellicus. And I tell you what, Blake's in some serious trouble here, even with Red Wing and Nelson Six looking on. You're absolutely right. The big, the big man from Sweet Grass Indiana has really taken the champ. He's dominating the contest. He's showing everybody why he held that belt for a year. And a nice scoop and a slam, a big leg drop right across. But I'm not going to kid you, going with your back to the rope, that comes from Nelson Six, and Nate Redwood is a dangerous move by Rough Cross. He strikes me as a guy that's not scared to walk down a back alley. I, I, I'm no manager and I'm no coach, but I would try to keep that action in the farthest corner from Red Wing and Six. I was at a bar in Jacksonville, Illinois, and watched the man throw four people out of the bar, one what? of which, one of which was holding his beer as he went out, snagged the beer midway through. This man's incredible. Look at Bellicus finds an open and gets a hold of that arm, draped it across that top rope, and absolutely takes control of this match by forcing right across into that turnbuckle. Up top, big knee right to the back of the shoulder and elbow. Across. Here comes that cerebral, that cerebral part of Blake Bellicus. You never know what this man's thinking. He came in with a game plan. He's working over that shoulder. You can't, if, you, if your arm doesn't work, what can't you throw? That huge clothesline that won him the title. If you can't use the lariat because your arm's incapacitated. That's a huge piece of Rough Crossing's arsenal that gets neutralized, and you are not kidding. Bellicus came with a game plan, and the game plan was neutralize an arm. Old school Anderson philosophy. Big Van Vader doesn't tell you that you have one of the most vicious clotheslines since Tan Hansen. No! You don't take that lightly. That's a serious weapon Blake's taking away. He's really smart right now. He's working over that arm. He's slowing the pace down. He's getting his composure back. He's taking, he's trying to take the Havana crowd out of this match. We both know that Rough Crossing feeds off that crowd as much as his athleticism or his throwing soup bones. Absolutely, and with a neutralized crowd, the, the presence of Red Wing and Six grow even stronger. Outnumbered, outgunned, Rough Crossing needs every advantage he can find, and all he found was a cross body brought, but he managed to kick out at two. The champ taking to the air, you don't see that very often. Occasionally you see him throw a knee, but you don't see him go to the top like that and try to throw a cross body. He's pulling out all the stops. He knows this is a big match. He knows this might be the biggest title defense of his career. Oh, but the power of crossing pays dividends as Ruff, Ruff just snags Belicus out of the air, but Belicus manages to escape using that injured arm. Oh man, that arm has come into, into play here. He couldn't get him up for the tombstone. That's another signature move of Rust Crossing. That's how he wins a lot of matches. I'm not sure that Bellicus saw the neutralize of that arm taking the uh, tombstone out of the game as much as the lariat, but you are absolutely right. Great point. Neutralizing both of Rough Crossing's signature moves. It, this is a great game plan from Belka. It Belicus. takes two good arms to get a man up for a tombstone. It's not just like dropping a guy on his head with a normal pile driver. You have to use a lot of upper body strength, and that's going to come from your arms. Some of it's going to come from your legs, but a lot of it's going to be arms. You can't grip the man. You can't pick him up. You can't, you, can't, you can't hold your arm up. You can't throw a lariat. He also loves to utilize the belly to belly, and it's being neutralized. This is huge for Blake. Man, this is an intelligent game plan. And look at him unload on Crossing, but there's still fight left in Rough Crossing. He's not done, but he, whoa, maybe I spoke too soon. That huge heel right to the temple. Crossing could be down and out here. Belkis looks like he's looking for the camel clutch. No, it's an arm bar. He still continues to go back to the arm. He is targeting the arm. He continues to go back. It doesn't matter how much the crowd tries to get under his skin. He has never wavered from his game. That's a laser focus, and he is being encouraged by Red Wing and Nelson on the outside. Blake's got everything going his way right here. This is exactly what we were talking about 
when we said Rough Crossing has never faced Blake Edward Bellicus. He's faced Blake Steele. He's got the ring with Blake Steele. This is a whole other wrestler. This is a man that's taken his game to another level, has changed his attitude. He will be successful at any cost. And I don't think Ref Crossing was ready for this. I'm not going to kid. That's a mistake. Don't toy with Ruff Crossing even for a moment. Huge mistake. Fire him back. Brings him into the corner. Showing, oh, showing the effects of that arm. It might have been too much. There's no escaping the injury, the, the, the pain that, that Blake's inflicted on that arm, and he's looking for more as he wraps himself around that arm and around that top rope. Rough crossing, he's in trouble. The only thing to help him out now is Brian Fox making that count. That's right. Blake took advantage of that count. He used all five seconds. That's the true, true proof that he that he's deserves where to be where he's at. I know about a one-legged man in an ass-kicking contest, but a one-armed man can't fare much better than a one-legged Oh, huge atomic drop. Big oh, elbow. Oh, with the one-legged arm, that elbow delivered. Oh, it took point. one arm, but did you take them both? And look at crossing. Oh, nice belly to belly. He didn't have him cinched in super tight, but he got him up and down with a lot of power. That adrenaline's flowing now. He's working out the kinks in that arm. Blake is in a world of hurt here. Ruff looking for the opening, but misses that big boot as Blake ducks out of the way, but Blake finds himself in huge trouble anyway. But can he capitalize? That's the thing. He came down on that arm pretty hard. That's, yep. That slight hesitation cost him. I really think it cost him three count there. He's got to get up. He's got to. He, he, he's got to start to feel this crap. No doubt that pain prevented Crossing from moving right into that pinning situation, and that cost him. And look at that. Moved right into a big boot, right back to that shoulder, and Bellicus takes control of this match back once again. Oh, a nice integrity to the temple. Of Rough Vicious crossing. strikes from the champ. Vicious strikes. Looking for that palm strike. Won a lot of matches. Big pump handle boot. Crossing saw that palm strike loaded and unleashed with a big boot. And man, he found it when he needed it. And almost a three count. Look at Crossing. Belicus barely saves his title reign. Get that shoulder up. He was a little close to the ropes there, Brady. I don't think he got the shoulder up. I think he grabbed the ropes there. Wasn't either way. The match continues. The resourceful Bellicus survives the onslaught of rough crossing. And timings everything as he gets out of the way. It's crossing. It's set up for that double knees right to the sternum. Rough crossing showing that never say die attitude kicking out of that. Man, this has been an exciting, exciting Oh, shoulder breaker, that was vicious. And right to that injured arm, what a game plan for Bellicus. And now look at this, Jesse. He has him in the crippler cross face. He, we, could see it, we could see him tap out here. We could see him tap out here. He's close to the ropes, though. He's that, close to the ropes. He's working his way there, Brady. That compromised arm, I don't know how he managed to get there. He got his fingers on the ropes. And the champ has locked the other arm. He has him in a what looks like to be a rings of Saturn. What's he looking for now? He's got that foot across He's got the rope. He's got the rope. That's the break he needed. Pelican's forced to make the break, but still on the offense. He's whips crossing right in that corner, but leaves himself open for the big boot. Oh, oh man, a big nasty boot. kick to the referee. Bellicus ducks out of the way of the boot, but guess who didn't duck out of the way? Referee Brian Fox. This is where the Carnivore Club thrives. This is their moment. This is where they. This is where they've won a lot of big matches. The oh, ref's got to play here. He hit the out. huge clothesline. He hit the huge clothesline. There's no ref. There's you no ref count all night long. He absolutely knocked Blake Loopy, but no ref. And meanwhile, Six and Red Wing are circling the ring, crossing. He's trying to revive the ref, but it's too late. Look at this, a carnival club's moving in. It's three on one, Jesse. 
There's that savvy of, of Nelson Sick. Distracted so the big man can get him. Oh, oh no, he's a man. Wing. Oh my god, the power of Red Wing on the an Condor already injured Red Wing. like they're gonna steal one here. Oh, the shoulder up at two. The Carnivore Club is incensed on the outside. Incensed, Nelson Six is beside himself. As is Nate Red Wing. They cannot believe Crush that Crossing got a shoulder up. I'll tell you who else can't believe it. Blake Bell, because what's he doing going after the referee? He's putting the buttes to the referee. This is a man who doesn't care about the rules. He doesn't care about authority. He'll do anything to keep that title. He will take a disqualification and an injury to keep this title. And look at this Red Wing and Six are going to help make it happen. No, wait. Crossing that guy out of the way. That's the Six Six, a huge four. <laughs> and so does Nate Red Wing. Nate Red Wing next. He's the, the outside rough crossing, cleaning house. Out of nowhere, the champ. But the referee he put the boots to has cost him dearly. Wait, we've got a second referee. And it's a two and a half count. Pemberton's in the ring. Fox incapacitated. The match continues. This can go anywhere. Senior referee Jason Pemberton making his way to the ring to take over this match after a small suspension. I'm surprised he came out to make the save with his heated pass with Bellicus, but he just goes to show you he'll do his job. And now like Pemberton's got his hands full with Red Wing at six. Meanwhile, in the middle of the ring. Oh, oh six, six, two, two, no! oh, this is it! New champion! Rough Crossing's taking the belt back! Oh my god, Jeremiah Punk is in the ring! What the hell? What, what is happening doing? right now? What's he doing? What Jeremiah is Jeremiah Punk is doing? Just pile drove! Rough Crossing, are you kidding me? What is Jeremiah Punk had just done? It what is he just done? Count. That's it. Blake Bellick is still our champ. Rough crossing out. Jeremiah Plunkett attacks Rough Crossing. What the hell's going on? What in the world? A friend of the devil. Oh my God. What have we just seen here? Jeremiah Plunkett said he was going to make a statement in the Proving Ground as he just made it at the expense of the former franchise champion, Rough Crossing. you got to be kidding me. Plunkett attacked Rough Crossing. He's asking for the microphone. Are we going to get some answers? Shocking, shocking turn of events. Jeremiah Plunkett has just challenged Rough Crossing to the biggest show of the year. Emergency response, rise from ashes. This could be a huge benefit for Plunkett or a huge mistake, but Rough Crossing, four on one, he may not make it to November. The crowd's looking in the back. Do we have something wrestling back there? They keep looking in the back. Gordon is in the ring! Are you kidding me, Gordon Jake is in Gordon. the ring! And the Jake Carver Gordon Club and Plunkett have cleared out! And the Beer City Bruiser and Howard Chester are clearing the ring! What a night in the proving ground. Movie House Mayhem 3, a friend of the devil. One of the hottest shows we've ever seen in the proving ground. Yeah. 
Ladies and gentlemen, I have just been informed that next month, an emergency response. Blake Bellicus will put his championship on the line against Jake Durden. And it is in the steel cage. I'm coming for you, Clark I'm coming for you! Yeah.